The R series is a special category for us because it's nestled between the high-end reference series and, and the more affordable ranges below. And it gives that level of attainability, but also extremely high performance that I think makes it a brilliantly placed product. The term metamaterial is a word to describe any material that has properties beyond its immediate physical properties. In this case, an acoustic metamaterial, we're using it to absorb sound. It has the potential to absorb almost 100% of the sound wave that comes from the back of the tweeter. To absorb sound in acoustics, we normally use porous absorbers. So we take materials like foams or wool, things that have microscopic holes in that the sound can pass through. But with that approach, the amount of sound absorption we can achieve is quite limited. We've taken a completely different approach here and we're using a metamaterial. And we've synthesized a structure of 30 channels, all optimized in size and length and folded into a disc so that sound enters the metamaterial through this hole and we can absorb a much greater proportion than if we were using a porous absorber for that job. The UniQ in the new R-Series is completely new. It has the metamaterial absorption technology on the back of the tweeter, but that has required us to design everything around it. Much like we did in the reference, we had to redesign the entire mid-range motor, the entire tweeter motor, and also the chassis that connects that motor to the cabinet. The shadow flare is a unique feature that we use on our three-way speakers to extend the effect of the UniQ flare and to prevent diffraction at the edge of the cabinet. Once you have the drivers in the cabinet, you have to direct part of the signal to each one of the drivers. That is a different frequency range. You send the base frequencies to the base drivers, you send mid-range frequencies to the mid-range driver, and then the high frequencies to the tweeter. But it's not so simple. You have to do it in such a way that the output of each one of the drivers integrates seamlessly, and you can't tell when one finishes sounding and the other starts sounding. What this means is that when, when you're sitting in front of the speaker, what you're receiving is a completely coherent sound stage uh, in which you cannot tell where each particular sound is coming from. The role of the crossover is to direct part of the signal to each one of the drivers in such a way that the output of all the drivers together is coherent. In the same way, this output has to be coherent so that it works together with the room. The speaker must illuminate the room with sound in a way that is smooth and is coherent. And this is definitely what we're trying to do with improvement in the crossover. The base drivers that we have in our series are already state of the art. The very low distortion drivers. The moving parts are very lightweight and very stiff. These are two qualities that we always want in a bass driver. It means that the bass reproduced will be tight, quick and efficient. The flexible port technology allows us to absorb the longitudinal resonances inside the port that essentially sound like a tube resonating, like an organ pipe. As it flexes, or as the walls of the port flex, they absorb this energy and so that the output of the port is only bass, which is what we want from a port. David spent many, many months working in this listening room, auditioning different components and different crossover layouts. So it's a much more refined motor that has lower inductance and improved BL symmetry. So these are technical terms, but what they translate to is smoother sound and lower distortion. 